Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials by Level Notion Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm gonna show you how you can keyframe vertex points without shape keys in Blender. Let's get started. All right, before I show you guys how to keyframe vertices without shape keys, I wanna quickly touch my character a little bit and uh, give her a different feel. Uh, something. I think I like this character. But I want to change one or two things uh, about the character. First of all, I need to... Uh, so I want to take out our glasses. Uh, glasses, I want that too. Zero. And I, I think I need to give her a bit of a eyelashes as well. Yeah, that's cool. And then uh, let me increase this very smaller nose and reduce the height size a bit. Okay. Fancy. Let me just go with this. This this is nice. Okay, so now my intention here is to tweak the headgear a little bit and then keyframe it without using the shape keys. So to do so, all you want to do first is activate the add-on that comes with Blender for free. So I'm going to go to Edit and then click on Preferences. Under Preferences, I'm going to Add-ons and then change the All to animation. Once you do this, you're going to find the add-on right here named Anim All. This is the add-on you need. Just make sure you check it to get it activated and then save your preferences. Okay, so now that I have the add-on ready to work in Blender, I'm going to go to the right hand side of the screen here and click on animation here. So once you do this, you're going to see another panel that shows you the name of the add-on, Anim All. So collapse this and you have more other options. So as you can see from this, I can keyframe the points which are the vertices. I can keyframe E-bevel, creases, V-column, shapes, V-bevel, UVs, V-groups, right? But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click, I'm just gonna keyframe the vertices. So click on points. And of course, I'm not interested in the selected ones only because I want to be very, very free in moving my uh, vertices around or in moving my vertex point around. So once uh, I have my points checked, the next thing I want to do is select the object I hope to deform or morph and then go to my animation because this is where I do most of my animations, right? So go to the animation so I can see my timeline here. I'm currently on the um, action editor, right? So if I add a keyframe here, go back to animate and add a keyframe, insert keyframe. I'm not gonna see my keyframe here because I'm currently on, I'm currently in the action editor. So to see your keyframe, change this to dope sheets and now you can see the keyframe. Now, another thing I want to quickly do here is change the pose for my character. I have several poses laid out already in the scene and because I want to keyframe my uh, vertice point by the time I move from one point to another the pose of my character is going to change and I don't want that so I just want one unique pose so I just want to quickly uh, set that in right now um, I'm going to toggle and then activate the animation rig so I can see it go to post mode and select everything 
So now I'm just going to flip through to get a pose that I want. Um, okay, so this should do it. This is fine. This pose is fine. So the next thing I want to do is just delete every other keyframes here. They are not needed for now. And I think I'll just delete this. So now I have my pose locked in, right? I can go back to my object mode and uh, also hide the, the rig because it's no longer useful for me for now. So I'm just going to hide my rig. Right, so going back to this to edit it. Now, I already laid out a first keyframe, right? So I want to push this first keyframe to frame one. So I have that keyframe on frame one. And I'm going to move forward in time to frame 10 and then adjust uh, the position of my vertex point for this particular mesh. To do so, you can adjust it using, you can adjust it in the sculpt mode or the edit mode. So I'm going to do mine in the edit mode here. So click on edit mode and this is what I want to change. So I'm just going to bring this up a bit. I'm just being loose and rough here, right? So just something rough. Okay. 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 So I'm going to go with these changes back to the object mode and insert a keyframe as well. So now that I have the keyframe as well, I can scrub from frame one and you can see how that animates in. So what this means for you is there's a world of uh, possibilities that you can derive from this add-on. You can animate the character's face morphing from a particular face to another face. You can animate something cool, maybe from, uh, from a sphere to a donut or something like that, you know? So this is how you can easily animate or change the position of your vertices without relying on your shape key. So guys, this is what I'm gonna call it a wrap. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and until next time, keep your creativity blending.